This video is going to discuss how to manipulate the title block in um, in a drawing. So, as you can notice here, I've got some custom things going on with the title block. It is not a standard uh, title block. I have added on um, this entire column here, and I added some uh, more boxes in here so that I had room for all the information that I wanted to put in, such as this tolerance table. Um, the logo of the program and the third angle projection um, title and icon as well. So let's go ahead and start from the part and kind of lay this out so that we all understand how to do this. So this is the part that I made and then I made a drawing from this part. So let's go ahead and start this. Um, hopefully by this point, oh, wrong button. Hopefully that by this point we all understand how to create a drawing because it is, um, you know, relatively simple. I'm going to do my A size because I love being able to print it out on a standard sheet of paper. Sometimes there can be a lot going on, but um, I really find it to be very, very convenient. Just understand that in the industry you'll be using much larger sizes such as C and D quite frequently all right now I'm not going to put in all the same detail I'm going to focus more on um, the aspect of manipulating the title block but I do want to at least lay this out okay and I like my isometric and a side angle and that looks good to me now this always bothers me I have to go change this I want my shaded view there. I like, I like this view to be as realistic as possible so you can see the maximum amount of information as far as what this would look like in real life. All right. And this one, I actually got rid of the hidden edges because there's just too much going on here for me. That looks much better. Now you can just use the annotation tool to put in all the dimensions. But I want to focus on the title block down here. So as you can see here with this generic title block, um, I do not have enough room for all the information that I want to put, uh, such as my department logo, third angle projection. Um, I do, I can uh, put the tolerance information in there. I do have enough for that, but I need to put a line in here to separate the title from the info. So let's see how we go ahead and do that with Fusion. All right. Uh, first thing is to kind of open, uh, expand these options over here. Uh, you're going to need to make sure that you put the tolerance in the correct three digit or thousands format. Pretty easy thing to do. Go to, and I'm, I'm worried about linear right now, not angular. Don't make that mistake. If, I, if there is a, a different text height that I want as my, um, my standard, I can change that here as well. But for me, 0.12 is just fine. If you go under sheet here, you have some options. If you chose the wrong sheet, you can edit it here. Um, these are the defaults available. And as always, as long with any CAD program, you can make your own sheet size. But generally, you're better off just sticking with the templated size. And keep in mind that depending on if you're choosing um, uh, millimeter or inch uh, units, uh, these will change as well. There are some different standards for metric paper. An A4 is similar to an A, but it's not exactly the same. So something to keep in mind. If we get down to the next one here that says title block, this is where we can get in and start changing this stuff here. So let's see what options we have here. So I have my ANSI title block. Now, anytime you want to get into a title block and add stuff, you just kind of double click it and then it takes you in here. Uh, so what happens is I can change all the text in here, but I can't change the lines right now. And I want to add some lines. So if I go over here and I right click and I click edit title block, this is going to give me another place where I can start adding stuff. Okay. Oops, too far. Let's try that again. Edit title block. Now I have some options here. I have from existing, uh, and I do want to use the existing, so I'm going to use that. Let's click OK. And it brings me into this uh, drawing kind of um, 
work surface here. So as you can see, we have some of our familiar drawing tools and I just basically use the rectangle tool, find us the easiest. And I'm gonna use the uh, predetermined points and that's gonna make everything work out just right. Now I probably do wanna reference my other one here. So um, collinear with this line, I'm gonna have another block, uh, a block above that and then one above that. So it should be easy enough to do. Let's grab my uh, rectangle tool. There's one. Now this, obviously there's nothing to make it collinear with. Um, as long as you're close, that'll work. But I suppose the best thing would be to get a, um, a size. Okay, and then I wanna add one more in here. And probably a half inch height, which you see there is probably about perfect. Could even go a shade below that, but we'll stick with the half for now. And it's not liking that, so let's do a line. All right. Now we can check black, uh, check back, and make sure that we have all the information. So um, all this is part of the standard template. I added in this line, this, and these three boxes here. So let's just double check that those are correct. Yes, that absolutely looks good. Okay. Now we can click uh, finish, and it will kind of um, make everything the same line width, which is exactly what we want. Now to insert um, any images, which if we go back and take a look here, there's an image for the department, the PHHS manufacturing. Um, this third angle projection symbol is also an image. And so is this, this is actually an image as well. So I'm going to show you how to place one image and then you can place the other two that have been provided to you. And these are just simple text. So what you can actually do is um, you can cut and paste as long as your program will allow you to highlight uh, or excuse me to copy PDF um, text. And you can do the same thing up here as well. And you just want to doctor it a little bit and move it around until you get it looking, you know, pretty darn close as far as placement, spacing. <laughs> Uh, line spacing, things like that. So let's go ahead and do one image in ours. Okay. Oop. Let's undo that. Control Z as always, my best friend. Let's click insert. I have these on my computer. Um, you will have them provided to you either as individual images or in a file. I believe mine are in pictures. So here's the PHHS. All right, now this is the one thing that's a little goofy is the placement of it. it. This doesn't really drag around like most programs let you, so you're gonna have to use the XY, but you should know the XY by now. So let's say minus, and this is kind of just trial and error to be perfectly honest, minus 0.5, I need to go away. So how about minus 1.8, now it actually looks like it's a shade too big, but let's get it in the box and see what it looks like. Yeah, it's covering up the box. So the scale, I need to bring that down. Let's try 0.9. Okay, a little bit better. We're probably still a little too big, 0.85. So this is essentially 85% of what I imported it as. And now let's bring it up a little bit, 1.7. Uh, or that was to the right, but this is gonna be up. Okay, now I'm still covering up this line, so this needs to be a shade smaller. Let's try 75%. Okay, 1.6. Uh, 1.5, that's in the middle now. What about our Y? 0.4, oh, okay, that, now we're getting good. That's really good. Uh, 0 0.40. Okay, that'll work. That'll work. I could crop this picture uh, in a separate program, but this is absolutely acceptable. So I can click OK there. And now it's just a matter of adding in text here, adding in a couple more images. And then um, that is how we manipulate the title block and create the custom uh, template. Now I would say uh, if you want to create a true template, then get rid of the part and just have this file and name it as your inch uh, template. And then you can keep reusing that with any other uh, inch object that you're creating a drawing of. 